Hi, I'm Benjamin Brewer, the writer and director of Tapped. Hi, I'm Tom Wallace. I am the producer of Tapped. In Tapped, we have Seb, who is, you know, charming, handsome, but he's also the notorious cable tie serial killer. He uses a dating app to locate his victims. We come into the story when Seb's on his way to what uh, will be his 10th victim. The themes of Tapped are quite pertinent at the moment as well because technology has become such a part of our lives and it's become such a part of our natural language that it's almost second like nature. I think the immediacy of these kind of apps, it, it takes away the kind of fear that we should feel. We put ourselves in situations and we go to see people or we invite them into our home. We don't really know who they are. So taking that idea and pushing it to being, what if you accidentally invited a serial killer to your house? How would you kind of react to that? I think there was like a, a level of campiness that was also like, you know, poking fun at it, but there's like a seriousness as well to the story, particularly because, you know, the youth aren't excused from this type of behavior. And I think it's really important, you know, for like millennials, especially, we're the ones who grew up in this age of like socialization through social media or dating apps, that kind of thing. So it, there's like quite a few social commentaries along the way of a few laughs with the in the script for sure. Tap is a very self-aware piece as well like it, it does deal with kind of weighty topics and there's like tension and drama but it's also playful as well and I always want to inject queerness in everything that I do but I also feel that I want to see queer people in every kind of narrative as well. It doesn't, there's no one set way of being queer or showing queerness on the screen. We should allow ourselves to see ourselves on the screen as villains mm. or as heroes mm. or whatever that looks like as well. This isn't a trope that's like bury your gaze that gay men or queer men or queer people are inherently flawed. It's more a commentary on, you know, these specific circumstances. The, the fact that the story is coming from majority queer filmmakers and writers and producers and everything like that, I think that the, you know there's an allowance of that narrative, but we certainly didn't want to be like perpetuating any sort of negative stereotype um, that we've seen in the past in cinema. Mm. So Tapped came around in a pretty short space of time. Even though it's a short film, there is so much work that goes into it. Because we only had about seven or eight weeks to really get the ball rolling, we condensed everything really tightly, pulled together a team. We had 15 of us on set, you know, that included everyone from cast to crew. We managed to assemble a fantastic crew who did incredible work and two phenomenal actors as well who did incredible work like every single night that we shot. It was a really quick three night shoot. And we also got Jeremy Fernandez as a cheeky little cameo there as well, which was, was good. We had three actors, um, but the focus is with our two main cast, which is Roman Dello as Theo and Michael Cameron as Seb. They were both incredible, not only to work with, just incredible talents. But also the energy they have together is really magnetic as well. Like you definitely buy that these people would be A, attracted to each other, but also kind of like that the events of the short would happen because of the energy between them as well. And one of the most important people that we met was our production designer. Yes. She turned a Darlinghurst townhouse, family townhouse, into a sex dungeon it was, share house. Yeah, Jackie Schofield, the production designer, was incredible. The work she did to change that townhouse into a believable <laughs> location was incredible. Um, and this was the beautiful thing about Tapped is that everyone came together and collaborated and it wasn't just, you know, the director running the show, it was a group effort. Every single person on the crew was amazing. But the way in which we envisioned this project to come about as well as in the post-production is there's a lot of work that goes in. It's all about like mm. working with a composer, working with an editor, working with the director of photography to really get that story snappy, short and sweet and have that great punchline. And there's a lot of passion and talent and energy that's gone into both the pre-production and the actual production itself. We just require a bit more resource and kind of help to be able to achieve that. It's a really important story. It's a unique story as well. We want to work with some really, really talented people. And with the Australian Cultural Fund is a fantastic resource for us to be able to tap into, <laughs> pun intended. And we'd love your help if you can spare it. Big things coming in 2024. Yeah.